welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl snapback cutie back again with another video <laughs> all right so the first time i made this video it was not recording so i'm highly upset and highly salty but you know what guys i have a get to know me tag so yay all right guys so this is my get to know me tag i've had my channels for about three years now and i really have been inspired to like upgrade my channel to do other things other than hair so this tag is for you guys to get to know more so let us get started okay so the first question says what is your name my name is Owle or Welly Wells or you can call me Shawnee B the Mohawk I'm just kidding but my name is Awale. if you're a Nigerian if you're not Nigerian, most people call me Awale, but some people can hold it down and pronounce it like Awale, and which means good luck comes with me. So yeah. Um, second question, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is teal. I love teal because it's a mix between green and blue. So it's just my two favorite colors combined into one color. So that's a good mix. Who is your best friend? Oh my goodness. Go best friend. Go best friend. Go best friend. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My best friend is Shelby. She is amazing. I met her my junior year of college and we've been friends ever since. Best friends for life, girl. I hope you watched this and you see I shouted you out. <laughs> uh, how tall are you? I am in the five foot eight club, so I am pretty tall and stuff. So yeah. Cats or dogs? Definitely dogs. Dogs all the way like I love dogs um, I'm gonna get a golden retriever when I get older <laughs> and uh, his name is gonna be Buster so I just decided that right now uh, funniest moment through school oh, school man there's so many things that happen in school but one of my funniest moments I think by far is like oh it's like it's just I don't know school is just comical you just have to laugh because it's so stressful <laughs> every single day you just find things to laugh out but I can't even think of one right now but I've had so many funny moments but I do remember one actually that I'm gonna tell you guys later on in the video when I gather my thoughts but uh <laughs> next question says how many countries have you visited so I visited the United States and I visited the motherland Africa Africa sheep of Africa yeah okay <laughs> so that's where i was born and raised for those of y'all who do not know that's where i was born and raised uh are you in college or are you going to college i'm in college i'm about to be done so i'm excited so yeah it was a good chapter ready to get into the real world what's your favorite subject in high school and what's your worst subject in high school favorite subject in high school was definitely english english just made sense to me you wrote a paper you put some words in there and it just made sense but math on the other hand i can barely count to 10 like i don't like math but once i start to get the hang of it it clicks in my brain but excuse me oh that's gross i don't like math so yeah um what would you name your children if you had any so if i have a girl i want to name her arnell and if i have a boy i want to name him chrisley chrisley i don't know chrisley chrisley i don't know i don't know a name for a boy i don't know i'm trying to think i've never thought that far in advance yet but I, i'll start thinking because obviously i don't know what i'm gonna name my kids they're just gonna pop out and i'm just gonna have a baby with no name so i need to think um what's your favorite drink oh i love powerade like people say powerade has no taste but powerade goes hard and i love the mango arizona tea that stuff is delicious what's your favorite animal i love lions i love lions but I also love wolves because there's my theory on wolves. Wolves move in a pack, a wolf moves in a pack, but yet they can still hunt alone. And that just kind of reminds me of myself because like I like to be around people, but also I like to do my own thing, so I really like wolves. Um, what is your favorite perfume? Versace holds it down, Versace Bright Crystal. If you've never smelled it, it smells very, 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 very good. Uh, tea or coffee? Definitely tea. Green tea is the best tea, so you already know. <laughs> what would you... Did you play any sports? Or have you played sports? Alright, let me list them. <clears throat> Your girl has played basketball. Mm -hmm. 
Your girl has done track and field. I did shot put and discus. I did volleyball in seventh grade, but I really didn't like it because it hurt my hand. So I just played it because I don't know. I played it because <laughs> the little girls were wearing spandex, and I was trying to be fast and wear spandex too. But you know, that's why I did it. <laughs> But my favorite sport by far was track and field, the shot put in discus, like I was beast at it. Like I wish I actually still threw it till this day, but that's okay. I enjoyed my time. Okay. Uh, what's your ideal, what's your idea of a, the, what's your idea of an ideal first date? That was a tongue twister. Okay, I'm big into art and like things that are very spontaneous. So something that's really cool is if you took me to a museum and after the museum trip, take me to a restaurant that's just so eclectic, like a mom and pop that it's not a franchise home owned restaurant. And then let me see all of the downtown downtown area. I've been speaking in this British accent, accent lately. I need to cut it out because it's really messing up my speech. But y'all already know that your girls be tongue twisting words, so it's not good. But yeah, that's one of my ideal first dates. Um... Oh, how many boyfriends have you had? I have had two boyfriends, so yeah. Uh, favorite moment, favorite memory from childhood. Okay, my favorite memory from childhood is like, you know when you were a little kid and you'd be like, who's the fastest? And y'all would all line up on the line and then you'd race. And like, it was just so awesome being able to play outside and do all those fun things, man. Like, worry-free. You didn't have to think about, like, bad things and, like, bad people. But now the world is so crazy. Alright, so it says, do you speak a different language? And how well? Okay. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Estoy muy bien. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Abuele. Abuele. <laughs> A W V A L E. Ah, y'all didn't know your girl held it down with the Spanish, but I do speak a little Spanish, Espanol, so I do that. Um, I speak a little Ibo, Ibo Bueno. <laughs> uh, let, let, let me think of something. Giba um, Fagi, uh, or Giba Fai, depending on what dialect, like, that's what's your name. Afambo, Awele. Then, uh, what else? They say, Palevu Francais, como tu t'appelles? Je m'appelle Awele. So, I'm letting y'all know how well I speak these languages. <laughs> and I sabi broken English, so for all my Delta bigs, I hold it down for you guys. For you, I hold it. Um, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have a brother. He's definitely my twin. Like, he's my best friend. But, you know, guys, we're six years apart, so he doesn't like it when I call him my twin. But we're twins, okay? So if you watch this video, you're my twin. <laughs> Accept it. <laughs> how would you describe your fashion sense? Oh, my fashion sense, if I have any. I wear polo hats all day, every day. That's why my name is Snapback Cutie. But I don't wear snapbacks. I used to like snapbacks, but now I'm with polo. So I guess I could be polo cutie. <laughs> but um, I just dress how I feel sometimes. I'm not really big into like revealing clothes, but I love to do like outfits. So if it's like a suit, I like to dress more corporate, like uh, a business lady. So I don't know. I've always done that since I was a kid. So maybe I'm supposed to be a boss chick. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alright, um, what's your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is definitely have to be a Korean barbecue. It's so delicious because you get to cook the food in front of you and I think that's so neat and so just, just so different and I really, really love it. What is your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show has to be Love and Hip Hop. Yes, let's, let's take a moment. Mm -hmm. Black and Crew. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um... Any reality TV, but I love cooking channel. I'm always watching cooking channel, so that's something I like. Um, okay, we're almost done. Mm -hmm. PC or Mac? Definitely PC, but Mac has great, excellent features. It's just Mac is hard for me to navigate. Like, I just can't navigate, navigate, navigate Mac, so. Uh, what do you have? An iPhone or an Android? Definitely have the Droid. Droid is just like the PC just understand it and <clears throat> that's what I have but if I could upgrade I honestly want a piece I mean I honestly want an iPhone 6 plus because that camera quality is a one so shout out to uh, iPhone y'all 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 hold it down tell us one bad habit okay so this is not so much a bad habit for me it's just that okay so I'm brushing my hair in this video what's wrong with me okay so my bad habit has to be like okay so like say we make plans on a Tuesday and 
we're supposed to hang out on Saturday. Like when Saturday comes, I just have no motivation to go and hang out anymore. Like, don't you hate that? Like during the moment when someone's telling you like, hey, let's hang out. You're like, yeah, like sure, whatever. Da, 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 da. Then when the day comes, it's like, no, I don't want to. Please don't make me go. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I don't know. I, just, I need to be more consistent with, consist, consistent, that's the word, consistent with these hangouts, but I just, I don't know, your girl's not motivated to go, I don't want to go. But anyway guys, that's the end of this tag. Make sure to thumbs this video up if you like it, rate, comment, subscribe, and guys, follow me on social media, snapbackcutie29 on here, snapbackcutie on Instagram, snapbackcutie on Twitter, snapbackcutie on Snapchat. And if you want to see more videos, you got to tune in next time and we'll do something else. Love y'all. Bye.